I wanted to give you a quick overview of our school sites. Something you'll notice about our school sites that we intentionally did with the new website is um, design a page structures that were universal for use from our early childhood uh, schools all the way up to our secondary high school um, campus websites. So, and you'll also notice I may say campus, but we actually are referring to all those sites as schools now. So we've kind of changed the naming convention for our school websites. So instead of finding them under campus, you will find them listed under schools. From the district website, uh, we have a very convenient one-click access under that schools menu to every one of our school sites. So you can come in here and pick which school you want to go see. And once that school website loads, you will also be able to jump to any school site again from this menu right here. So it's really one click access, whether you're on the district site or any of our school sites to any other school um, website. Uh, while we're here, I'll go ahead and mention we do have some information about district maps, feeder patterns, finding your school by zone. Uh, your school attendance maps, your school locator, all that stuff is right here. We have information on our virtual school. And then again, we have our early childhood programs listed, our um, elementary schools, our middle schools, and our high schools. So that in a nutshell is the menu structure for those. Here we are on Sherwood's website, and I'm just going to go over most of these things will um, be very familiar and the same on the school sites. So we're just going to use Sherwood as an example. So on every school site, you're going to have this general utility menu here at the top. And in that menu, you'll find the uh, translate feature for the website. So you can choose whatever language you want to view the site in. You'll have access to the district events calendar, which will uh, pull up an integrated calendar of district events that you can browse from a day, a week, or a month view. You'll have access to the staff directory, which is listed by um, school. You'll have a link to get you back to the district website. You'll have a link to our recruiting website. That was something real important for our um, campus leaders that they wanted to have accessible on their school websites. And that'll take you to our recruiting website. You'll have, again, that's where you'll find um, the schools menu in that schools listing here at the top. We have quick access for our employees to our employee portal, and that is for staff only. And then you'll have access to this uh, robust search feature. So you could enter your search, whatever you want to search for in our search field, or you can use one of these quick links provided. And these were all things that um, our users indicated they wanted quick access to. So those are um, some things found here in the search, in our a robust search feature. The next thing you're going to find is obviously there's uh, d the campus title and their logo. This will this quick links back to their homepage from any page. There's an about section which has some really general information about the school, stuff like the principal's message, school news, school plans, um, additional staff directory access, data dashboard, directions to the school, those kind of things are going to be found in there. Under academics, you'll find stuff like the course catalog, or some um, information that will really help you support your student academically. There's Most schools are going to have, especially at the elementary level, their library featured in this top level navigation. Uh, on the secondary campuses, some of them have elected to move this link into um, their student and families drop listing and have athletics here. And that's primarily only at the secondary level where you may see some of that. Students and families, you're going to find some of the school day essentials, uh, information on your PTA, back to school information, your student handbook, things that are really critical to help parents uh, support their student through the school day experience. They're going to be found in this drop menu. Um, our parents really were vocal that they wanted information and access to counseling and student support content and that um, is available through this counseling link and then we also have a link to community and that's a gateway for folks that want to be mentors partners a volunteer or directly engage in supporting the school that's where they can do that on the community link on their school website 
Now, if we move down the screen, we're going to see that we have this really nice news banner that showcases some of the um, faces and stories of Sherwood. So all our schools have an integrated uh, banner and some of them will choose to host video or photos. They can also link to uh, downloads or news stories in this section. So that's something exciting to come back and check on and see what your school is showcasing. If we scroll a little bit further down, all the schools will have this listing of icons that are basically quick links for um, one click in access to a range of things and these are really customized by the school. Some things that you will see that are standardized by the school district, um, we populate the back to school section, we populate the bond content, um, there's a link to the customer service survey which is our share a smile program. Ready Rosie, we populate the flower distribution, we populate in its learning. And then there, there's a range of other links that the school can come in here and modify and add as they need to to service their uh, particular communities. So those, check out these links because they'll be things that you really want to use ac and access. Here's uh, our contact panel and this has information about the school contact with office hours, who your principal or your school leader is, your AP, um, how you can contact them via phone, and then some social media links here for them. Then we have a showcased area for news, and that's where the school can post some additional news. And they every school has their own news uh, feature, which is almost like a news blog. So um, those are accessible from the school's main landing page. And then every school has its own dynamic calendar that they can populate with their upcoming events. Um, the district events are also, district holidays are always also integrated into this calendar. So those are two critical things, the news and the upcoming events for your school that you'll want to check out. And then if you come down here, all schools have the same footer. Obviously they're going to have their um, own school name, their school contact information, their school social media. There's a link to subscribe, and that's subscribing for district news. There's a link to the district website. There's links to trending information that are important for the school system as a whole. There's, a, again, some links on attendance area information, and then some general links on contacts and where to get some help. Web help is a good link. If, if you need some assistance using the website, this is a great resource for you if you um, need some help. So you can check out that web help link. This footer is on the, all district pages and all school pages, and, as well as this utility menu here at the top. Um, Many of the features in this utility menu are on the district side as well. So that in a nutshell is an overview of what you're going to find on the campus websites. I encourage you to take a moment and go familiarize yourself with your particular school's website. If there's something you feel like you want to have added or you need um, to provide feedback on, you can go to the web help. We have a user satisfaction survey that's provided there or you can go on the district website and if you go under news to web use, we also have um, outlined a couple of ways for you to find additional information. We've provided a link to our help desk where you can submit any um, technical issues or you can again provide us with that customer survey, survey uh, satisfaction survey. So again, just a quick overview of our school sites and I encourage you to go check them out and hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. Thanks a lot.